in life we make small choices each day. Those small choices are fundamental to deciding if we choose to just exist and live, or if we choose to grab hold of life and really love and live with vibrance and color. To live with vibrancy, things don't have to be going well in your life. It is about seeing positive brightness amidst the storms and to creatively search out ways to spread light and joy to others, no matter your circumstances. So this video is a tribute to trying to live life in vibrant color with profound quotes to ignite life and color more into your life. You're beautiful. Wes Adamson said, life can be just black and white, but with imagination, life is a kaleidoscope of exhilarating colors and breathtaking adventures. Wow! No way. Does this one really have horns? <laughs> yeah. This one's got a unicorn horn. Look at this. Well, look at all the colors. We've got the red, and brown, and yellow, and white and black. This guy's got two horns. Look at all the animals. But if one stops believing in dreams, life loses its meaning, loses its colors. Christiane Syrian. <laughs> Colorful Colorado for sure. That is some of the most vibrant color. Perfect morning. Yeah, I have to, I have to shoot a panel here. <laughs> wow. Fire Canyon Overlook is amazing. Fernand Ledger said man needs color to live. It's just as necessary an element as fire and water. friends surviving in the desert is brutal. But look at all these pretty plants. They're so pretty. Like this baby fern type thing. Wasley Kandinsky said color is power which directly influences the soul. John Ruskin said of all God's gifts to the sighted man Color is the holiest, the most divine, the most solemn. Be sensitive to your sensitive inner capacities to respond to color. Nathan Cabot Hill. Joseph Albers said this profound quote. He said, color, in my opinion, behaves like man in two distinct ways. First, in self-realization, and then in realization of relationship with others. Whoa, we made it to Grinnell Lake. I'm glad we took the boat. Me too. Look at the size of that waterfall. That's Cascading. insane. Cascading down into the blue water. Ah, oh, that blue water is so beautiful. The magnificent orb we live upon is a vibrant living entity of grand proportions. Anna Gobertson said the first step of love is like a sunset, a blaze of color.
Vincent van Gogh said, color in a painting is like enthusiasm in life. says if we allow ourselves to stay amazed and astounded at the vibrant instances of every day and do not feel ashamed of admitting to be a speechless or dumbfounded sometimes we can uncover unsuspected sparkling gems hidden in the nooks and crownies of our mind on this dripping fall are really pretty. Look at the pretty dark red, orange, and green. John Glenson, it is my observation that the happiest of people, the vibrant doers of the world, are almost always those who are using, who are putting into play, calling upon, depending upon the greatest number of their God-given talents and capabilities. Wow, those reflections are phenomenal. Thomas Frank said, Vibrancy is so universally desirable, so totemic in its powers, that even though we aren't sure what the word means, we know the quality it designates must be cultivated. The vibrant, we believe, is what makes certain cities flourish. I think the I think the trip back is going to be a, a I think this is called Sunshine Yellow Canyon. Oh, well, that's appropriate. <laughs> Isn't that great? Dang. That's real. That's really neat. <laughs> I encourage you to take the thought that stood out the most in your mind and ponder how to use it in your life to make your own life more vibrant and colorful. Sending love and positive vibes your way. Please subscribe and like. See you again real soon. Bye now.